This episode of The Birds and the Bee was brought to you by KinkyCandyOnline.com, reminding you guys to keep it kinky. Hello, world, and welcome to another episode of The Birds and the Bees. I am your host, Colin Mill. I'm here with my two co-hosts. Guys, do what y'all do. Yo, it's K after death. How y'all doing? It's French. Hey, it's your girl, Harley. So, guys, it's, what is it, uh, September 30th, right? Yeah. It's September 30th, 2018. You know, the nice Sunday afternoon. We are here. You know, doing what we do, we're chilling. We're playing Cash Flow, one of our favorite games. You can't, you can't even find it right now online no more, right? No, mm-hmm. I literally tried looking for it and could not find uh, it. Yeah, don't let you get, get played now on richdad.com. But Rich Dad isn't our sponsor. We officially got a sponsor for this podcast, and our sponsor is kinkycandyonline.com. Your home for adult candy, books, DVDs and all sorts of toys and everything. All the wonderful toys and candy and books. I've been spending a lot of time in the city lately, especially when I found that Kinky Candy will be our sponsor for the show. I'm like, okay, we got to definitely really create some more content for this show, you know? And, you know, this show, so far we've been, mostly been talking about sex and dating. So we were like, all right, Birds and Beats is really just about only that, sex and dating. So we need to double down on what we're talking about. So I decided to go to the Museum of Sex to get some more ideas for this show. And I don't know if you guys ever been to the Museum of Sex, but the Museum of Sex is a very interesting building. I definitely will say that. I've seen some things that I've never seen. I, I can't say I've never seen on the internet, but it's just... All right, all right, here's, all right this is what I saw. So they have this film. It's called The Good Old Naughty Days. <laughs> That sounds so blunt. <laughs> and it's footage from 1905 to 1932, I believe, or maybe further than that. But it's basically porn shot in the old days. And there's this one clip where it's, a, you know, it, like, it, it gets weird, you know. Is it like a movie theater? They, they, they have a screening room, but mm-hmm. it, I, it's not really a movie theater, but it's definitely a screening room. I mean, I don't, they, they, one thing for sure, I can tell you, the security in there, they, they don't allow nobody to be doing no hanky-panky stuff in there. People try, but them the security... Really, the, though? Yeah. In, a, in, a, in a museum? Yeah, yeah, I guess museum it's... Museum of I mean, I guess, yeah, I was about to say, it makes sense. Like, a lot, per, well, uh, one thing is, you know, a lot of people come in there, you know, coming from the bars and the restaurants and stuff like that, a lot of, you know, ladies' nights, bachelorette parties, mm-hmm. they go in there, and a lot of them, we, you know, been sipping before they got there. Like, I've been there a lot of times lately, guys. I spend a lot of time over there. You'd be surprised how much time I've been in Museum of Tech. I'm not just there watching the exhibit, but I'm there observing the people and understanding. Because I can tell you, being in there, I've noticed it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Latino, you know, Native American, you know, um, Hindu, you know, uh, West Indian. Um, uh, I, 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 did I name all the races? I, I can't. Middle Eastern. Uh, you know, it don't matter what you are, how old you are. I've seen sex has no race. Yes, you know, <laughs> sex has no. Like I've seen every. Like even if they can't speak English. I've seen people react the same way to the stuff in the museum. Not just the museum, but this, the, the gift shop alone. The stuff that I've seen in the gift shop is actually the same stuff you're going to see on Kiki Candy. But I've noticed, you know, people are really, you know, like sex is just one of those things where it's just really natural and just like, now, you know. Because before we couldn't really go out and talk about Before it was taboo. It was always natural. It was taboo. Mm-hmm. You know, people were, were afraid to discuss it. But sex is have always. Once I saw the footage from 1902, I realized ain't nothing new because I there were women were giving head. Mm-hmm. You know, like these dudes were running trains and they, they would switch and then you know go on the next. You know, there would be a guy and a girl and a guy and a girl and they would, the guys would switch and go and you know tag team start smashing <laughs> the other girls. He clapped, so tag team. And then yo, and then in one of those videos, the guys did each other. It was weird. It, I mean, I guess for oh, some God. guy, it's not weird for if you're into that stuff. It's not weird for you. It's not you know that's natural to you. But for me, I was in expecting that in 1902 you know it was like oh snap they, oh wow okay i guess everybody getting some everybody mm-hmm. even the dog the dog came out of nowhere started looking at the man's dick i was just like wait uh, hold the uh, fuck up bestiality man <laughs> kid you not i'm telling you girl was sucking this man off she got up out of nowhere here comes the dog licking it like whoa wait hold up wait a minute why why is this why is this here and people really come together i mean i've seen crowds of people stand together or sit and watch these videos and it's just like this is, and, I'm, and in my mind, I'm just thinking, this is nothing new. This has been happening since the beginning of time. People have been coming together, watching people have sex since the beginning of time. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, how many times have you, I remember growing up, how many times me and my friends got together to put in a porno or something. Like, when Girls Gone Wild first came out, I'll yes. never forget. Never forget. Yo, never forget. Hey, we would come home from school. I'll be the one I'm like, God, I just got the one for pay-per-view. Oh, shit, you got it on pay-per-view. Yeah. Because you remember, like, WWE yeah. had it there, and their yeah. was the name, whatever. And I was like, God, I taped it. So we all come to the house after school to watch it, all losing our mind. That was shit. This girl's flashing her titties. But I'm like, oh! Yeah. Oh, sh- do you see that? And then we all go like, oh, you know what I would do? Like, man, you, we, what, what would we do? No, we, you know, they don't know, don't know nothing about not to talk about what we will do. Sit them titties. Like, I'm just saying, think about it and laugh. But when I feel, you know, sit at the museum and I'm looking at everybody, I just, it's like, wow, like, you know, it's it's natural. You know, it's taboo, but it's very, very natural sex. You know what I mean? And you know, they have different exhibits. In the, like they just matter of fact, they just changed one of the exhibit. It was the Akai or Aki, I can't remember how to pronounce his name. It was this Asian guy, and he did like over a thousand photographs of his wife naked. Wow, yeah, right. And you know, this like I mean, there was other women as well, but most of it was his wife in his exhibit. And I'm just look, you know, like. You know, they they have, you know, his pictures on the wall and, you know, there's your footage of him behind the scenes and all his books. And a lot of people have, like, a lot of Asian people came in there coming to see this. Like, this guy is huge where they at. And I'm just sitting here like, yo, you know, I mean, that's nothing compared to, like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to say nothing, but it's, you know, it's, you know, when you think about, like, Hugh Hefner and Playboy, you, you know, you start thinking, like, you know, this, we, we put an ugly stigma on sex in this country. You know, I, maybe it's more of a religious thing because I'm very religious and, you know, if, it's, it, it's weird, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you were raised, you're like, okay, you know, no sex before marriage, you know, you got to keep it in your pants and da 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 mm-hmm. And... That's not the world we live in, and, and it's like, now, granted, as a Christian, I do believe, I, 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 you know, you're supposed to just keep it to your, your husband and your wife and, you know, stick to that, you know what I mean? You ain't supposed to be just passing it on willy-nilly or whatever. To me, that's when sex is beautiful or whatever, but we're going to be realistic here. People ain't waiting to get married to have sex anymore. They, no. they wasn't even waiting to get have sex in the beginning of time. No. You know? Yeah, like I always, when I read the beginning of the Bible when Jesus was born, and all I can think about that part when, you know, Mary and Joseph talking about, oh, the baby, you know, came out of nowhere. God <laughs> sent the baby. You know, I'm, in my mind, I'd be like, yo, if I was their parent, I'd be thinking they lied to me. I'm like, y'all know y'all did something. Y'all just want to, y'all want to say, okay, it's, it's the Lord. Okay, it's the Lord's baby. All right. You want to tell me? I, 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 you're my kid, so I'm not going to stone you. But you know damn well y'all was doing mm-hmm. something. But, you know, I'm not going to say that. Let me not, before I start getting struck by lightning over here. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you know, sex everybody's having it, everybody's doing it, or planning on doing it. It's going to happen eventually, hopefully. If you, you know, it'd be really sad if you live your life without having it doing it once, at least. It's like, right? that's yeah. just... Imagine, we, gotta do, going... we gotta do something like that, like talk about 40-year-old version, remember that movie? Yeah, but uh, he, you know, he at least got some. Imagine mm-hmm. a guy who got it once, never got it again. Can you imagine? I think I would lose my mind. I don't think anybody could do that, though. I, I wouldn't. I don't think that's even possible. You had it once. Except for monks. I, 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 yeah. Mon- oh, oh, yeah. Monks, yeah. Okay, that's possible. Monks, nuns, mm-hmm. you know. But, I, I, you know, I don't. I can't imagine. If you don't have the discipline like a monk or something to. No, I don't know how they do it. I, yeah, I, be a nun, I, I don't know. I, and I know I, how to do it. I, I know went how to, to do Catholic it. church. Uh-huh. I, I went to Catholic school, and, and it's like I had to watch. And it's just like, you guys really... And, and I asked one time, I was like, you guys really don't have sex? Like, for real? Mm-hmm. And how? How do you have the energy? But it's it's willpower. No, it is willpower. It's, will, it's, I, it's I, willpower, I, I definitely the longest know. I've had not, uh, the longest I didn't have sex was three years. I was, I was celibate. More willpower than that. <laughs> <laughs> I was celibate you for three years. I was celibate for three years. I was celibate for three years. Four to five months. I gave, I gave birth. They tell you, you know, after you give birth, you gotta wait six weeks because mm-hmm. the first six weeks after you give birth, like that's how a lot of women get pregnant again within a year. Right. I, a week after I gave birth, oh my lord, I was just like, listen, we're gonna have to have a talk. Right. <laughs> like something has to go down. I can't stay like this. No, it's been a week. Oh, it, it, it's definitely a discipline thing, and definitely, you know, like you guys, like I, like I tell you, I'm very religious. Like I don't, like I, I, I try not to smash anybody. I don't think I'm gonna marry. Like if I don't think I'm gonna marry you, I'm not gonna try to smash you. That's just me, you know. Yeah, so I was a little much more of a like hoe back in the day. I don't, I'm not saying I never had a whole moment. <laughs> I'm just saying I rather when I smash to, for to smash somebody who you know. I actually might want to be with at the end of the day. That's just me. 
can I say that for every girl I smash? No, I can't say that. But I have kept my numbers low. My body count is low. It's not super low, but it's low enough where I feel like if my wife ever asks for that number, she can, she's not going to be upset. Like, yeah, all right. <laughs> she can't be upset. Like, all right, that's not that's not bad. That's that's okay. Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, we'll, we will see. I can't speak on my future wife. I don't know. Maybe cause maybe one more than her is just too much for it. It's not me and not only me. Like you know, she might just be upset. It's not only her. Like God damn it, man, it should just be me. You know, I don't know. These days, you never know if you, she was the one or somebody I mean, had do it. You, do you when you get it? Like when you talking to somebody, do you ask? Like, is that one of the questions that you? Hell ask? no. I do really? not care. That is one of the first thing I, I don't. Ask. You. Care the reason why I don't ask because one of my first relationships I'll never get it. So this is when I lost my virginity. This girl was like my first main girl and you know girlfriend girlfriend. We we're, we're having sex all the time or whatever. And I can't remember if this is when she got pregnant or after we had our miscarriage. I can't remember, but I remember when somebody goes like, "Yo, man, you should ask her," you know. Because I think, no, oh, I think it was real, right after the pregnancy. Because somebody was telling me, like, yo, man, that was your first. It was a woman actually who told me that. I'll never forget it. She was like, yo, you need to soak your royal oaks. Like, you need to go out there. You don't know that's the woman you want to be with. You guys mm -hmm. go out there and see the world. And I mean, and me as a Christian, I'm like, that don't make no goddamn sense. You're supposed to stick to one person and, you know, that's it. I ain't supposed to be smashing everybody all willy nilly. Yeah, you know? so you think that first person literally has to be like the first right, person? Right, the first person is supposed to be your last person. You know what I mean? So, that person, like, I decided, oh, fuck it. I'm going to ask her. You know, how many people you got? So I'm walking with her, so I'm just like, yo, how many people have you been with? And at first she had a hard time telling, like, you know, like she didn't want to talk about it. And eventually she's like, ah, you're maybe six, seven. And I'm like, what the fuck? So which one is me? Am I six or seven? <laughs> <laughs> and since then, I don't care. After that day, I realized I'm more secure in myself to not care. It's about me now. So the question is, am I the last one? Is there anybody after me? That's all I really care about. If, if, it, if before me, it's before me. I didn't know you then. You, you know, you, you wasn't there to witness my magic. You know, you wasn't there to see me in all my glory. You know, you didn't understand what options you had out there. You didn't know I existed. You had them little flings, them, you know, little flings. Those little, little flings, those little, little, little right? You be the little, you, 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 you were the little dotty. You, you didn't, you know, parties and enjoy you, know, you didn't know no better, you know. And you let, but I'm here now. I'm here. So that's all that matters, and that's all that needs to matter. I don't give a fuck about how many niggas you were with before. Like, I remember this one chick I smashed. Now, I didn't give a fuck about her like that. Like, we were smashing just to be smashing. You know, it was cool or whatever. But, you know, she told me her number. And I was like, what the fuck? Now, mind you, I wasn't trying to wife her, so I didn't care. But her number was in the 30s. She had 32 bodies, I believe, at that time. I think I was 33. Crazy thing about it, I was 18. She was, like, 19. Dang. The bitch wasn't even 21 yet, bro. Dang. Already had 30 bodies. So? Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to slut shame nobody. Hell no, you can't slut shame nobody. That's nobody. The, that if you, Girls if you, if you, just want to have fun. If, you, if you, this is what you want to do with your body, do what you want to do. As long as you take care of your body and understand the consequences, exactly. I can't tell you nothing. You know, I ain't God. I, I ain't can't judge nobody. I got my own demons. So... You know, if you want to be a little dot, be a little dot. You know, niggas is dots all the time. Just, you know, so I, can, so I can't tell you, you can't be a dot. You know, you want to be in a slut walk with Amber Rose and 21 Savage. Shit. Go ahead and do that slut walk. You won't find me there, though. My mom will kill me to find me and be in a slut. And my mom, I'm not even walking trying to be a slut. I was just trying to get a number. That's all I was trying to do, mama. I was just trying to see if I could get a slut for the weekend real quick, ma. That's all. This is a weekend party, ma. This is a weekend party. We have my fun. But, you know. Love everybody, you know. If let's love everybody can find love. So if you if you think you're not gonna find love and you gotta be a hoe, you 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 stupid. If you're gonna be a hoe, be a hoe because you want to be a hoe. Don't be a hoe trying to look for love. You know, exactly. there's, there's a better ways to find love. I mean, you, love. Can't, you can't really be a hoe looking for love though. Exactly. That's that's not a mixture. Like, that's not. You gotta wake up in the morning and take that walk and take that happiness. Uh, I think a lot of the TV shows these days be making it seem like you be a hoe and find love. Isn't that what fucking um. How I Met Your Mother? Um, he was, somewhat. He, Flavor of Love. Flavor of Love, too. And um, wait. Any love in hip-hop show. Basically. What was the name of that movie? Insecure. Uh, What's that other show on that um, She Gotta Have It? 
My best friend, yeah, my best friend's girl. That was one of them. That that movie that I saw. I think all these movies, a lot of sex comedy teach people how to be hoes. <laughs> I really think about it. You really think about it. Because most women like assholes, yo. Like, it's not about, I think what it is, because it's not about being an asshole. As someone who's been an asshole plenty of time in his life, it's about the confidence. Mm-hmm. Women love confidence. No, that's true assholes are cocky and confident, you know? Shy guys aren't as confident as a cocky guy, you know what I mean? Like, if you're, like, shy, here's the issue, guys. I'm going to teach you guys something. We're going to teach men and women things today, so... Before we get to the women, I'm going to teach men something real quick. Because a lot of guys think you need to be an asshole or a jerk to get a woman. And that's not true. You need to be very confident. You need to be, you know, I don't want to say dominant, but you need to be dominant. But you got, you got to be careful with that. It's 2018. You know, yeah, being a little too dominant. You might, you might, you might get a little lawsuit now. You got to be careful. You know, you, oh, yeah. You got to be, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. be careful. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got to know when to be dominant. That's what I should say. You should know when to be dominant. You know, um, you know, guys, guys it's, a lot, I know there's a lot of guys worry when they go like, oh, girls don't like nice guys. That's not true. You could be a nice guy and still get women. It's just, you know, are you confident in yourself? Are you living your best life? Are you, you know, are, are you, what, what, what do you, you know how everybody's like, oh, what are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the table, homie? Exactly. Like, what are you doing that this girl can't, keep, she can't, for, the girl gotta be able to look at you and be like, ah, I can't pass this up right here. This is too good. I can't, I can't leave this. You know what uh, I mean? And a lot of times people just be like, oh, the dick is good. And that's why, like, that's not enough. I'm sorry. Dick is not good enough. I'm sorry. I, I can't, you <laughs> I'm know. Sorry. I, you know if you, I had a laugh. That's the truth. <laughs> you know, as a man. No, it really is. But it's like when you said it, like, I, I thought for a second, like, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I know a lot of girls who stayed in bad relationships just because the dick was good. That's true. That's what I thought about. And it was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You know, like, that's not, I that, can't that, even argue with it. Like, if you want, if you want, I mean, if you want to be in, in a toxic relationship for the rest of your life and be unhappy and just just for some dick, by all means, be on your unhappy relationship ass. But if you want something, you know, real, real and give you some, you know, satisfaction in life, you know. You gonna need to get yourself somebody who really cares about you. And women, we're gonna teach you in a second how to find somebody who really care about you. But guys, you know, be confident in yourself. You know, be a little. You could be a cocky, just a little, just a little cocky. Just, just don't find go that overboard. Inner cocky guy that 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 needs to come out during. Right. That time. You know what? I what makes me very cocky is when I talk about my work. Every time I talk about filmmaking, writing, acting, you know, music. You know, that's when I begin real, that's where I get real cocky. I get real confident in myself, you know, when I'm, you know, I'm like, yeah, this is what I do, you know, and, 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 and because I do that a lot on screen, it helps, you know, it, you know, people, just, they're attracted to that, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, and you don't have to be a blogger and a vlogger to do that. If you are a fisherman, you better be the best fishing man ever. You meet a woman and be like, girl. What you, what you want? What you want to eat tonight? You want to eat some flounder? You want some lobster? <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna get that right now because I'm the best at it right, right. now. You know? Right. You know? That's all you need to do. You're the best farmer. Like, girl, what you? You like tomatoes? You want some corn? You want some corn? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow that right now, girl. <laughs> a whole field for you right now. A whole field. A whole field. All the corn you want. All the corn. All the corn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys, just you gotta be confident in who you are and what you could do and what you could provide. You know? It doesn't. You don't have to be an asshole. Now, granted. Assholes get a lot of ass because they're confident in the fact they can get a lot of ass. Yes. But you know, you know, if if you don't get a lot of ass, man, if you have to fake it till you make it, but don't lie on your dick. I'll say that. Don't lie on your dick, but fake it till you make it. It will. It will definitely Again, come back and go haunt you. out. Experience these things. Don't be on a freaking computer. Yes. Like you're gonna spend a little money, but what you gotta do? You got you 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 want to try and have a good time or? Have a good time on a budget, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like you, like, there's so much good places out here that you can visit in Manhattan, and you can literally have, if you could keep a conversation and keep that confidence up, you will grab, you will grab her, even if it's for the night or the rest of her life. Right. So yeah, definitely one thing you want to know is how to keep a conversation. That's, that's something great that you mentioned. Definitely learn how to keep a conversation. You know, definitely learn how to build rapport with people. Understand body language. That's definitely important because you you can tell a lot. A girl, women will tell you things without telling you. Mm-hmm. You have to just pay attention. Mm-hmm. You gotta literally pay attention. You know. Another thing, also, because we're talking about going out and meeting people. You know, really, before you walk up to any girl, really pay attention. Like, look at what's going on. Is she by herself? Is she waiting for somebody? Does she got a ring in her finger? 
You know, did she look like she's trying to have a good time and just waiting for somebody to introduce her to a good time? Or maybe she's just by herself and she just want a quick drink and she on her way out. You gotta observe everything up front, you know? You just can't just jump at it just because you see a pretty girl and be like, oh, she bad, I gotta do something about this right now, you know? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't even have to try to bag. If you don't bag nobody ever and you just never picked up a girl in your whole life, here's my tip for you. Just start saying hi to people with no no motive, no intentions to do anything. You're just going to start a conversation with somebody and go, hey, how you doing? Or, you know, or the, just, the weather is crazy, right? Or, or pick out something that they have on that's more, uh, what did I say, like something that, that sticks out. Just say, yo, I love your hair. That like works. Compliment. Yeah, a yeah, like, good compliment works too, yes. Good compliment works too, just small. Mm. Yeah, and just anything that's just, you know, start up a conversation and then go, all right, take care. Have a great day. I used to do that a lot when I was at FedEx. You know, I'd be driving, see a beautiful woman walking down the street, and sundress season is like, uh, ooh, I'm like, ooh, girl, that sundress is awesome. <laughs> and, you know, round of applause for you. Get in. <laughs> keep driving. That's it. You know, keep it simple, you know? I ain't trying to bag no numbers. I got, I got things I got to do. I just got to tell you, you look good, girl. You, I, I got to get that up to you, and I got to go. That's all. <laughs> keep rocking that dress, girl. You got it. You got it. Working it, girl. And, yeah, and I honestly believe if you do that, you will, you know, find the courage the to... The boost. That yes. gives you the boost. It would definitely give you the boost to talk to women, you know? Now, for women, we want to tell you, you know, how to date men or deal with men in 2018. Because dating men in 2018 is different from, uh, well, I can't say it's different from any other time in the world. I think men have been the same since the beginning of time, you know? We just have different toys, you know, like the toys on KikiKenny.com or KikiKennyOnline.com, sorry. So, one thing I want to tell women this is stuff I would tell my daughter or my sister or anybody. Men just want three things. They want supporty. Supporty. I'm Lord. I'm <laughs> they want support, loyalty. I'm about to make that a word. Supporty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> support. <laughs> like we, we you know, give them. Where's that supporty at? You're not giving that men no supporty. But yes, men need support, loyalty, and ass. Well, the three things that can keep a man is those three things right there. Yeah, and, and know, knowing how to cook, too, you know, at least. Yes, yes. No, like, we're very it, simple. Oral yeah. sex and food could go a long way. <laughs> exactly. Did you ever heard of steak and uh, blowjob day? No. Oh, that's I need to know that. That's an actual holiday. That's an actual that's holiday. That's an actual holiday. That is holiday. a nice, neat, oh, I will vote for that. That's an actual holiday, steak and blowjob day. You know, women got Valentine's Day, men got yeah, steak and blowjob blow day. day. You know? That men are very simple. Potatoes too. We're very simple. Me that he get potatoes. What? He wants his little potatoes too. <laughs> Sour cream you want anything? <laughs> Damn right, man. You no, know, gotta keep right. Man. No. Oh god. But um, yes, food <laughs> and sex goes a long way, but also support and loyalty. Yo, you gotta treat your body as a temple, man. I'm just. I'm talking, you know, the fact that uh, when it comes to loyalty, loyalty is hard to find these days. You know, you got songs like, these hoes ain't loyal, mm -hmm. you know, and people run with that mindset, like, man, I'm never going to find a loyal girl. These girls ain't loyal, especially if they have bad relationships back to back to back. They start losing faith in finding a loyal person. So if you well, find a... Females, no rules. Say what? For the females, they got new rules. Yeah, well, we're talking specifically for the females telling them how to talk to, how to deal with men. Okay, so if you want to... If you want your man to be loyal to you, you gotta be loyal to him. You know, at least show him that you can be loyal. Now, if you got yourself a dog ass nigga, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. You ain't gotta show no loyalty to that. But if you got a dude who's actually down for you and really trying to do something with you, you know, show him that you're loyal and, you know, support him. You know, because, man, we need support. Like, I don't understand. Like, we like even if our, if we want to be the best clown in the world, but girl, you better tell that man he, he you know like girl, but man here boo, here's these balls, juggle these balls baby, and you drop it, I, I throw it right back at you. I got you. You need to support that clown yeah, ass yeah, nigga. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You gotta support. You know, men don't get support. You know, you gotta support the dream. You know, unless he's whack at rapping or some shit like that. You know, you gotta support the dream. If the nigga's a rapper and he can't rap. Tell him, please, baby, please. Like, baby, please. So, like, but actually, you know what? No, I'm going to take that back. If this nigga wants to rap 
help this nigga rap and let them hear, let him see how bad he really is. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's actually the best thing about it. Don't, you just throw rocks for the nigga dream. Just like, alright, baby, come on, let's put your song on SoundCloud and let him see for himself. Yeah. Like you know, but and then that afterwards, sounds, that sounds so cruel. Let me it's cruel, that. but at least at least you can, you could go like you know, baby, it doesn't seem like it's working. You, you know, if you want to keep at going, least baby. You, try. You, you know, at least you try, baby. You want to keep doing it, baby. I'll support you, but at this rate right now, baby. That's true. It ain't working, baby. That's true. It ain't working. But you can't tell him at the beginning when he got nothing and he haven't done anything That's yet. That's true. You know, at least let him drop a couple mixtapes out. Like, baby, this your 12th mixtape, baby. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working, baby. Yeah. Uh, uh, no one America's got in talent. 13's like, that go. lucky one. <laughs> 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 maybe, yo, maybe. Oh, the boss go, you you, 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 you have to tell him, maybe, baby, maybe. Oh, God, I gotta be, we gotta take that quote, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Another thing, women, if we call you a friend, you should know that you are nothing more. Guys, I shall tell you that too, because, I mean, women, y'all flaky. Y'all be telling guys, like, we y'all just friends, and then them becoming more sometimes. And then there's times when y'all really mean well, he's just a friend. That's both male and female. Everybody does that. It doesn't matter, like, it, the sex. Like, there's plenty of women that, 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 that I've done it. Mm -hmm. And sit there and be like, yeah, we're just friends. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I know, like, we're in bed together, and it's just like, okay, how the fuck did this happen? Right. Like, it, it happens. Now, like, I'm talking about someone that you're already smashing and saying you're just friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that just goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, saying, yeah, that goes for everybody. That one, we, we dodged that one. We dodged that one. I could definitely say we dodged that one. Uh, I'm still in situations like that now. I, I, uh, I'm in a weird position in my life where all I keep having is flings. Where I'm either the fling, the side nigga, or the fuck buddy. The, the crazy thing is that where you are, uh -huh. a lot of guys would want to be in that position. Oh, it's so weird. So many guys want to so be in weird. that position. And they, you're just like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're drowning. <laughs> like, if somebody would look at you right now, I'd be like, yo, you're drowning in this shit. And you, and while right? other niggas like, I should be thirsty. happy about it, right? I should be happy. Exactly. That, that, that it's just like, like, and then it's because the worst part about it is just like, it's multiple women that's offering the same shit, and it's, not, it's nothing I want. So it's like, <sighs> Like, I hate being at the sex museum and watching all the happy couples come in there and they planning out all the freaky, kinky shit they gonna do with that stuff they see at the gift shop. And I'm just sitting here like, I ain't got nobody to do none of that shit with. <laughs> like, I'm looking at the kinky candy inventory. They got this thing called Pussy Looker. And I'm like, who the you fuck am I gonna use this on? <laughs> who the fuck am I gonna use this on? I'm like, looking on random bitch pussy with this shit. So I'm just saying, like, a lollipop pussy. I was just like, like oh God, this, this, it's just, I don't know. And then, you know, it's crazy because. I, I, I'm, cause I'm trying to make this into a lesson for you guys, you know. But it's, it's, I'm, I'm really in a league of my own in this situation. <laughs> That's <what> I'm laughing. <laughs> like, people just be like, go ahead, girl, just have all the fucking sex you want in the world. You gotta get it. But like I told you guys earlier, I'm very religious. I'm very moral, and I, I definitely believe, you know, when you have sex with people, you're, you know, you're opening yourself up to other shit, you know, and, you know, like, you know, I like. You know, is, I, have we had the conversation about the yes. sexual network on the show? I'm sure yeah. we had that conversation about sexual networks on the show, right? Yeah, we had. When, when you, you know, whoever it's, this person's fucking, when you fuck them, now you're fucking that person mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm very cautious about who I put myself in, you know, and not even just, you know, physically, but also spiritually and everything like that. I just got a quick question since you say it like that. Do you dive in or do you just step your foot in real quick, you know, test the waters? What? what? When you diving into a rela well, not even a relationship. Wait, when I when I fucked my for the first time? Yeah, like did you test it, it, it or did you just like did you dive in or did it you It varies, just test bro. It varies because not so, sometimes I don't plan it. You know how some women's like, oh, it needs to be organic. Yeah. I, that's the only time I I like when if I if I have sex with a girl for the first time, it's usually very organic. I it's not in my mind to have sex and somehow some way, boom, it fucking happens. You know what I mean? But uh, you know the times that I do. Go for plant. Actually, you know, I can't even fucking say that because a lot of times when I do plan it, it don't work out that way. You know, I mean, granted, you know, there are dudes who knows like there is a cheat code. I'm not gonna act like I've never tried the cheat code. There are cheat codes to get into the draws, ladies. I mean, and I this will be a whole nother episode that we yeah, can't do yeah. today. But there are cheat codes. Like there are ways that we know that like, okay, if I do A, B, C, and D, she's mine. You know, like yeah. at the end of the night, I'm smashing. You know what I mean? There are and. And, and it, it's, 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 I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call that manipulation, 
but it, 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 but y'all manipulate men too. So you know, you know, I, 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 we're gonna have to do a whole episode where we can teach you guys. Like, but why are you looking at me like that? Because you manipulate <laughs> the shit. What did I do? I'm the innocent bystander in this conversation. Oh Why lord, I'm please. No, 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 no. A lot of y'all have, because a lot, when guys, here's the thing. Here's what I know about men and women. Men will have, you know, have auditorial motives to have sex. And women will have sex to use their auditorial motives. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. Men will be like, oh, baby, I'm going to take you out to eat. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that for you, da, 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 because they're trying to fuck. And women will try to fuck just so you can pay, you know, like, I need this bill paid, or I need this connection, or I need this. Like, you know, we use sex as a means to an end for us, where sex is just the beginning for you, you guys. You know what's messed up about that statement? Huh. That is so fucking true. true. It is. <laughs> like, it is. I have physically, I have done that. Right. Like, I mean, little, you know, okay. So, this guy that I used to mess with before, like, mm -hmm. it was always like, hey, you know, so I need this down third. And it was just like, so what you gonna do for it? It's right. like, well, what do you want? Well, I know we're going to say, like, I, one time I, I I made up some crazy shit. I was just like, I want to set the alarm for like an hour. I just want you to eat me out for a whole hour straight. And best believe, that's, that's how that they went. And, yeah, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I'm guilty. I can't argue with it. Yeah. I'm the type of person who don't, I, when I meet a woman, I'm not, sex is not the first thing in my mind because I'm trying to figure out if I like you. Are you cool? Am I down to, you know? I'm very old-fashioned. I'm a very old-fashioned guy. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I now, if I'm with someone who I've dealt with before, that's different. You know, especially if we're drinking. I remember one time it was me and this other girl, and we used to have sex years ago. But we that was years ago. We were just hanging out for the first time in years or whatever. It wasn't the first time. We've been hanging out for a while or whatever. And I forgot what happened. We were just talking. Somehow we were talking about eating pussy at one point. You know, I'm just talking about eating out. And granted, like maybe two hours later, I don't know what the fuck happened. I just end up throwing her on my bed, pulling her off her pants, and started eating and, her out. And, yeah. Exactly. And it just fucking yeah. happened. No, 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 no. You you spoke it into existence. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> what, happened. yeah, yeah that that's what happened. Yeah, you that's spoke it into existence. existence. Yeah, that's exactly what fucking happened. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, as soon as yeah. he said, as soon as he said he, they were having a conversation about pussy, that he doesn't even remember how the conversation came up. I said, I bet you he ate her out. <laughs> and that's exactly what he said. But you know. Women, they definitely tell tell signs where a guy's just trying to use you for sex, or he actually want to be with you. You know, it's just you know it varies. And we, we, we call those smash and dashers. Like those are smash and dashers. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Man, I also think you shouldn't be trying to smash and dash these days unless the woman is okay with that because we in the Me Too generation now, and a woman. Here's what I notice, you know, and tell me if I'm wrong, Harley. You know, sometimes. You know, women will, like, I can't speak on for, for, for my experience, but I'm speaking for other women who have told me this, that, you know, they'll get crazy, they'll get crazy with a dude for one night, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next day they rethink about it and be like, you know what, I really didn't want to fuck that nigga last night. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, it becomes this big issue or whatever. Mm -hmm. So what I want to tell you guys is, you know, when you're trying to smash a woman, make sure she's really up for the shit. And then don't make her feel guilty about it afterwards, where she's now second guessing herself about doing it. That's what I'm trying to say, you know, because I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to promote sex and all this stuff without teaching responsibility. Because, you know, people will go and go, like, hey, this, I'm about to go smash. I'm about, to, I'm about to go outside and look at girls' body, body language and try to figure out to, to smash. Hey, guys, when you have this power, please do it responsibly, because not all women are going to do it. Yes, that's one thing I've learned. I think, I think it's the responding time. You're not gonna have the right response that they that that you're gonna hope to get. Like if you like if you pick up any pickup artist book or whatever stuff from like ten years ago, you you could go about some of that stuff. But in 2018, a lot of that stuff goes out the window. Like this is this is not the same world anymore. Women are different. Like I mean, women are the same. They just not take a lot of shit no more. You know what I mean? This is a woman's world now. You know what I mean? So, it's, and on a real, it's kind of been a woman's world. It's just that men want to be somewhat on top. See, the thing is with men, men want to be leaders. They want to be leaders. Think you know? about it. A dictator. Right? Women, men just want to lead women. 
men, not women, just, I'm just telling you women, that men just want to lead, you know, and when a man can't become a leader, the best thing he, the best thing he could do is make a woman come, if that, you know, well, basically make himself come using the women, but you know what I mean. Yeah, women are one of the strongest creatures on this damn earth. Women are stronger than men. Hell yeah. And the reason why I say that, and I didn't like just, you know, brute force, of course men, we, 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 I mean, I like, can't say men, you know, men, you know, it's hard to say, cause I've seen women bodybuilders, so I'm, it's hard, that one's kind of I wouldn't funny. say body, I think of the psychological. How psychologically strong you are, because in this day and age, if a woman can psychologically break you down, it, I say women strong because women got to deal with three things men ain't got to go through: periods, pregnancies, and perverts. Yep. You know what I mean? Like men get perverts, but our perverts ain't it's the same as y'all perverts. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's why I say y'all, y'all got three things we don't ever have to deal with like that on a regular. Like that. Like if men got a perverts, it's once in a while. Like maybe we go to the gym or something. Yeah, I deal with those three things constantly. That's a very oh, I've consistent thing. a lot thing. about that. Like I, like, I remember when I, going into work, my, my boss, he, you know, he went to the gym, mm-hmm. like, regularly. Yeah. And I remember, like, he, he used to tell me, and for him, it was, it was funny, because he would tell me stories, and he's a gay guy. Yeah. And he would just, like, he'll tell me how women would literally hit on him at work. Right. Well, at the gym. And he's just like, he felt so uncomfortable with it. Right. He's just like, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> and he'll tell them, like, I'm gay. And they're just like, well, you haven't found the right woman. And he'll get so offended with it. Wow. Yeah, he'll get so mad. But, yeah, it's true. Women, yeah. Why can't y'all be so clear and direct with us everywhere else? Yeah, Only with, with lust that can be clear and direct? Nah, That's another thing I want women to like, know about men. With men, we're, we need y'all to be, we can't read minds. You like you gotta be very clear and direct with us. So very clear and direct. See, we roll the dice, y'all. Just... Oh, damn. Like we be thinking, so she's just playing hard to get. Like no, you need to fucking let this dude know. I mean, doesn't it go both ways? I mean, we can't read your minds either. Yeah, but men are very simple. Men so are very so simple. Are women. No. Wait, no, no, no. But you see, that's no, what I'm saying. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 women, no, 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 men are like the game. Pop it. Y'all are Rubik's Cube. Exactly. Okay? Oh, I couldn't say <laughs> it any better. But you see, this isn't fair, because there's two guys against one right now. And it's and, and, and I'm serious. Like, it's there's plenty of Yeah, but I see, where... the with men, you know, at the end of the day, we got two agendas in mind when we're meeting up with y'all. Either we want some ass, or we try to build a future with you. One or two is one or the other. Ain't no other thing. But that's the same thing with women. No. Yeah. Because y'all can get more than that. More than ass and more than the future. Y'all can get some money out of this nigga. You can get a car out of a nigga. You can get a job out of a nigga. It goes both ways. I'm sorry. They do. It goes both ways. That's what I'm saying. Sugar mamas and sugar daddies. I was just about to say that. There's, there are sugar mamas out there. I know, I've seen them. There I've seen are. Them. It goes both ways. I've the seen the them. world that we live in, matter of fact, no. It's it's good to get hit on by a It's rich always been like that. It's just that it. now is it's we're more open to it. We're more accepting to it. But it's, it's always been like that though. I'm just saying, women, when you talk to men, be very clear and direct with us. So they, they, there's no misunderstanding. Like, oh yeah, she's trying to smash, she's into me. Like, no, I'll just start a conversation. Because here's one thing I can tell, I can speak for a lot of men. We don't know when y'all just being nice and when y'all flirty. Sometimes we just be like, oh man, she must be really feeling the kid. No, she's just doing her job. You you are at the store and she just customer service, my nigga. She's not feeling you at all. You know? <laughs> nigga walk up to tell her, yo, bro, she was really feeling me, bro. Unless she wanted she the kid. Number, nigga, nah. So that's why, I, I, you know, like, be very clear and direct with men. Um, but, you know, like I was saying to Harley, you know, some guys will be trying to sleep with you from day one, but not all men. So you got to figure out, you know, that's why I actually say be, be clear and direct. Because if you, if you can't tell if he's trying to smash or he's trying to build something with you, you can literally just ask him, like, yo, so what are we doing here? Well, you know, yeah, and if he go, whoa, 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 what you mean? You know, that's true. <laughs> like, that's true. That you know he got something else in mind. But if he goes... Yo, we chilling, we, we macking, you know, then you got nothing to worry uh, about. If the right man got the right answers, you can literally... Con- that really depends on what, you, what, they, what you're looking what's, for. What your agenda is. Yeah, you know, but, you know, that's why I say be very clear and direct. Because some guys may just want to figure out who you are first. Like, I'm a type, like I tell you guys earlier, I'm a type of guy who's not trying to smash on day one. I'm trying to figure out who you are. I'm trying to understand what kind of person you are. What's your personality? What's your agenda? What's your goal? You know, right? If you can where do you fit in my storyline? You know, because I'm not coming into your life, you are coming into to my life so what how do you fit in my story and can we have a story together or are you a spin-off or are you something i need to know just or early you're on. a twig you was just there right. are, are you part of my marvel universe or are you just a netflix series like <laughs> <laughs> i need to know these things beforehand you know 
And like for me, I'm not buying women any flowers, jewelry, you know, I'm not doing any sweet talks, the text, the phone call, the dates, you know, unless I'm really, really serious about you. Now, granted, in 2018, that stuff don't mean nothing anymore. Guys will do that just because they know they can get ass if they do enough of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that, to me, I don't do unless I really like you. Because I want you to let you know, like, yo, between, I had to pick between investing into a new copyright or trademark, but I like you so much, I want to get you flowers. This shit's going to fucking die and right? make us no money, but I know it's going to give you a little bit of happiness, so here's some flowers for you. You know, that more, that's, that's your, happiness, is, your happiness is more important than, oh, God, I can't, I can't even finish that sentence. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. See, that's how, that's how you know when you got someone who loves you. If you, if you can finish that sentence and say, your happiness is more important than his business, then you got a man who loves you. I can't even finish that fucking sentence. I can't do that. I have never met anybody who had me say, my ha your happiness is way more important than my business. And I'm telling you, I've been with, and I've been with a lot of women, and, but I've been with enough women to know I will never, ever say some shit like that in my life. Ever. Never. That's not happening. That's not happening. I don't care how kind you are, how nice of a booty you are, and I'm saying that just because the booty just walked out. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. The whole time I was just looking at Carl I'm like, that Carl, you gonna do it? We had this conversation. It's crazy because I, I, I ain't break conversation at all. I just kept the shit conversation right, going. Shouldn't. I'm looking right at this booty, walking right past, like, I don't care. Need my money, my money, but I'm gonna look, though. The whole thing, the funny thing is, not for nothing, Frenchie didn't even blink once. <laughs> Frenchie was just like, I was looking at him like, are you gonna look? <laughs> See, and that's how you know you got a man who love you. If a man ain't trying to look at another girl booty well, right in front of you, <laughs> Yo man love you. Cause some dudes will look. Like, babe, I'm that, with you though. True. I'm with you. What that you is, mean? That is very true. Like, I'm just looking. Yeah, and the man you won't know, look. He you love know, you. You know this D is all yours. <laughs> like, nah, nigga, you look. <laughs> if a man goes like, what well, booty? I ain't seen no booty. You the only booty that exists. <laughs> then you got a man who loves you. Facts. You know? But Facts. like I was saying, jewelry, phone call, flowers don't mean nothing. You know? Unless this man says your happiness is more important than anything else. Then that dude is you're you're just it's, it's whatever whatever. He's about to go to jail. Somebody because <laughs> he he needs somebody for the long run. Right, like I, 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 like I, I'm so tired of being alone. If he's willing to risk his money, listen. I ain't risking no money for no woman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I. Are you ever seen the movie Casino with Robert De Niro? I heard about it. There's a, there's, so in the movie, he's in love with this woman played by Sharon Stone. And he's so in love with her. But she's like, yo, bro, I don't love you. And he's like, I know, but it can grow. And da 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 da, -da. Oh He marries her, gives her everything. Jewelry, fur coats, you know, big house. You know, all, everything. All the coke she could do in the world. She gets all it all. All the coke she could do in the world. What she do, she goes back to her pimp and fuck him on the side. Oh, God. So, after he keeps catching her over and over, he decides, fuck it, I just got divorced this lady, take my kid and do what? Nah, she ain't getting out that fast, she wanted it all. He had money that he put, she, she, he had money, like, in case he ever got kidnapped, that she could go and get mm -hmm. into the rescue. She took that money and dipped. All that fucking money. That man was tight and was like, why, bitch? Why did I marry this hoe? Like, nigga, the tell signs were in the beginning. She don't love you. You married a woman who didn't love you. Talk about it's gonna grow. Basically. So guys, don't be stupid about this shit, you know. Please look for the tell signs. Please look for the tell signs. It's out there, you just gotta look carefully. Now women, if a man is trying to buy you all these flowers and stuff like that, that like I said, doesn't mean that he's into you. It doesn't mean he just wants some ass. But if you already gave up the ass and he's still doing it, then maybe, maybe. you, maybe, cause you maybe, one. maybe, I, I'm gonna say maybe, cause there's some players and pimps out here who got enough money to keep that shit going and don't, you know, don't mean nothing for the shit to tax right off of them. Like, eh, yeah, I can spend a grand on this bitches on a month. It don't mean nothing to me. I make 10 grand a week. But it don't mean nothing for me to spend 10 grand a month on this, I mean 10 grand a week. I don't know. Depend, every guy is different. But there are dudes out there who got to like that where they can go ahead and buy girls a whole bunch of gifts and all that stuff because it don't mean nothing to them. And, yeah, but, you ever heard of Millionaire Max make, make, Maker, bro? No. But, Yo, let me tell you something about this. These guys get matched up with women that just want, they all they want them to do is just spend all, most of their money and stay in love. I'm like, wait, what? There's a, there's a girl at my job who told me she's now on this site that's basically Sugar Daddy or Russ. Like, the, basically the whole site is for them to go online and meet a Sugar Daddy. And it's just like, you know, wow. I even know, mm -hmm. like, I, I mean, at the end of the day, women have the same, they're wired one way, which I always say. Wired one way, but program another. At the beginning of time, 
Y'all only wanted a man who could provide and protect you. And yeah, that's it. That's it. If a man can protect and provide, that's all you need. In 2018, y'all can provide everything else, basically. Y'all really don't even need men other than for, you know, someone to hold you at night and stuff like that. Because if you got a gun and a dildo, you practically set. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing you're not going to be able to find on KKCandy.com with a gun. But you, everything on KKCandy online, I'm sure you, could, you wouldn't really need a man for a lot of stuff. But I mean, I, I, when, I, when I saw on KKCandy.com, I think... KKCandyOnline.com. I apologize. Online.com. I saw some um, powder that I tried... Early in my life, when I was in having my like have have fun days, powder. How do you how do what do you it's slap, what, you slap the powder on them on, yeah, before you have sex you with them? Put it on it and what it's, it's coke? It's like powder. No. <laughs> it's flavored <laughs> powder, bro. <laughs> flavored <laughs> powder. <laughs> I thought, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, it tastes mango. Can you imagine we just putting this long ass line from like her nipples down to her right. belly button, just looking it off? Like, right. like, what are we doing here? This is new. <laughs> but um, I I, I got it. so uh, we were where 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 we just oh yeah we were talking about what I call it um date you know date sex phone calls really don't mean nothing and the only way you can tell a man really wants you if he put up with all your requirements and standards or how annoying you can be if he put up with all your requirements then you know you got yourself a keeper but if he's just smashing and just buying you stuff but ain't really trying to make a home with you just then keep you quiet like you you just a side thing you know. Because you know. once he gets tired of the side and he wants to go back to the main, it's like. But listen, if he's still buying, if you, if he's still buying you stuff and smashing, like. Yeah, well, yeah I don't really care. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, take, yeah, take the check. Yeah. Yeah, nah. take the check. Like, just, just take it. <laughs> just take it. I mean, I'm sorry, that, that's messed up. But it's me- it is messed up, but you know, that's how a lot of women get put on these days. Like, yo, I know he got a wife and kids, but you know, he bought me my car. Those are called da, 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 home records. Da, da. They are called home records, but I'm not here to slut shame nobody. It takes two. It does take two, because the man got to bring the girl into the home to wreck it. You know? Very, very true. But at the end of the day, if I got it like that, make sure y'all, y'all, y'all putting that money to the side, and you, you know, because when he go, he go. So you want to make sure you got some assets out of that situation early on. Mm-hmm. Don't be a dumb hoe. You know, be a smart hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being realistic here, you know? This is this is the world we live in, you know. But um, if a man is putting up with you, doing all your requirements and all your standards, he ain't going nowhere. And your shit. And all your bullshit, he ain't going nowhere. Or either that, or he ain't find a better option yet. You know, that's one or the other. He either he either loves you, or he, he hasn't got a better option. I was like, oh, this is what I can get. Oh, what the hell am I doing with this for? You know, and then that's when you really fuck up, because he ain't coming back after that. Because you know what? You, and you know what? Don't let him find better. Yeah, the fucked up thing is, this is exactly what goes on. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. Same for women. Another, another, another woman's, woman's trash. Another trash is another woman's treasure. And then when they see that, it's like, like I remember what I lost. Like right, top part of acrimony. Mm-hmm. I love that movie. I'm actually going through that with my baby father. What? The, the whole, you know, like the the. Oh, that he, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So he was you. He, he was your trash. Oh no, he you were his trash, and now you, your Frenchy treasure. Yeah, now he's sitting. And now like, he's like, why? No, no, don't no, do no. this to me. Why? No, we can we can make it work. We can try again. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> it's good to know. Um, another thing I want to mention to women about dating men in 2018: your environment plays a part in who you're attracting. Who, where you are, determines who you're going to attract. You know. If you're at a bar and you want something quick, fine. You, you go to a bar to get a nice little drunk girl to have a little telly time. I remember when, um, a couple of years ago, I'm at church. Well, my, well, I have many churches I go to, but there's this church, this, uh, this Linden FDA church I go, I go to, right? Mm-hmm. And this elder came, Elder G. Craig Lewis, and he was talking about, like, you know, certain atmospheres, you know, make a climate. You know, when you you know what's going, what you know, you know what to expect in certain places because there's a climate for that atmosphere. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you know, that atmosphere. You know, he's like when you go to the club, you know what you're gonna find. It's gonna be dark. You know, there's gonna be bright lights. You know, this might be foggy from the dry ice or the niggas mm-hmm. smoking in the back. There's gonna be people drunk. You know, people just candleless. There's only two things you don't walk out of uh, out of that club. You know, there's only two things you don't walk out. Of. So you know, you got to know the atmosphere. So. When you think about people you want to date and stuff like that, you know, and you want to hope to find somebody, you got to think about where you are, because where you are will attract who you end up with, you know? So and some, no, I'm sorry to cut you off, and mm-hmm. sometimes if you're in a, if you, my personal thing, if you're in an environment that you want to be in, and do, 
Find someone that you like. So like, if, for example, my homeboy went to Comic-Con and he actually had his first girlfriend. I hated him because it was uh, Chung Lee. Wait, he made a girl called cosplay as Chun Lee. Yeah, uh, and he'll never forget that story. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I said you bastard, but still, because you know Chun Lee was everybody's favorite. Shit, Chun Lee's my favorite. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> like that's how they felt like in love, or they wanted to find somebody. Now then, I got my other homeboy. Yo, he was just that drunk friend. Yo, I'm going out. I'm going to see if I can get, grab me something. I'm single. I'm enjoying. Yo, let me go to Manhattan right now. He spent $20 and already got eight numbers and took a girl to his crib. And took a girl to his freaking crib. I was like, you slut. Yeah. He's like, yo, the other two is the next two nights. <laughs> you want to know when the hell guys are slut, ladies? I'm going to tell you how a guy, how you know this guy's just trying to smash. Oh, wait, wait. He, he was always honest, though. Go ahead, though. Yo, no, no. Honestly, play the part of this. When it comes to guys, if... He's not asking you about your desires, you know, asking about your life, your experience, your needs, you know, the, the desires, what you want to do in your life, your goals. If he's not asking, he just wants some ass. If he's not talking about sex to you, yeah, that's talking about sex and, you know, money, you know, what you do today. If he's not talking, <laughs> basically, if he's not talking about y'all two, y'all future, doesn't want to really be. But a lot of the, the thing though, that's one of the cheat codes. Guys know if they talk about sweet nothings all day, uh, oh girl, I just want to be with you. I just want to hold you. I just want to talk to you all day. I want to do like the guys could, could say that all day, and you know, when, with some girls not all women, because some women are smart. You know, they'll be like, because this is how you know where guys just try to smash. They'll be like, you know, like oh girl, I just want to get to know you. Let's just meet up and hang. And girl, be like, okay, plan something. Two weeks later. When am I going to see you? Girl still saying that. Nigga, plan something. You want to see me? Plan something. If he ain't planning nothing, his only plan is to smash. Yep. His only plan is to smash. Or oh, the number one nine, yo, Netflix. First of all, I don't trust no girl to be bringing no girl to my house. So best believe we ain't watching no Netflix in my house. Best believe that ain't happening. You go to the movies for that shit. Hell yeah, and, and I don't even like taking girls to the movies because that's, I'm, just, I'm taking a girl to work. Like, girl, I work here. <laughs> I work at the movies. This is my life. Like, we're not going to... And the only, only way I'm taking a girl to the movies is with on her profile that she likes a certain movie and I see it's playing in the theater. It's like, oh, my God, Dirty Dance is my favorite movie. Well, we're going to see Dirty Dancing this weekend. Day. Like, are we going to see that? Yeah. Action flick. If you find, like... If, bro... If you had to choose a woman... This is one of my questions. If you had to choose a woman in a profession... Mm -hmm. What would it? What would that profession be? I'm just saying hypothetically. Like it doesn't like imagine you just want to throw it out. It's so funny you said that because I was watching Saturday Night Live this morning, last night, whatever, depending where you are. Mm -hmm. And you know Pete Davidson is with our, 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 our what's her name? How do you pronounce her name? Adriana, Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. Ariana Grande. Yeah. So <laughs> what I call it? You know they're engaged, so they had to bring it up on the show. Like, hey, you you about to marry a pop star and da 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 da. And you're like, you know, does it, does it make a difference in your life? You're like, hell yeah, she's rich. I'm not. You know, you like. I got, of course, we got to sign a prenup, but he's like, what the fuck's gonna happen? We get a divorce. She's gonna take my sneakers? Like, you know? He's like, but I don't care. You know, she can go ahead and do the work and I'll be at home, you know? So, it, like, it, it's like, at the end of the day, it really depends on your relationship. It doesn't really matter with the job, you know? Now, some guys have egos, so they can't imagine a woman making more money than them. Me? Some people be like, fuck it. Okay. Me? I'm. At, at this point in my life, I'm caring about myself. I don't care what a woman does. As long as she, you know, I want, because it, 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 it's embedded in my DNA that I'm supposed to pr provide and protect a woman. So that's what I'm going to do. But, but if, you know, she making more money than me, doesn't mean I'm not going to stop providing. Or stop helping or, like, stop working or stop doing. If you do something and she's making money, like, yo, babe, don't worry about it. Phone bill, I got it. Like, I don't care what job a woman got as long as she's not a hoe. That's all I care. Like, you're not, you're not a hoe, right? Not, not, I'm not even talking about socially, but professionally, you're not a hoe, right? Like, you don't really have to fuck men for a living, right? Like, you, 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 you gotta do, I ain't got to share with you all day, right? That's my whole thing. I don't like sharing. I, already, I was born a twin, so I had to share a lot of things in life. I don't like sharing. So my woman ain't going to be one of the things I share in life. It's just not one of those things. But, um, you know, a lot of dudes don't care about that shit. And that's why they can just go around just smashing everybody because they're like, you know, I, I'll share myself. See, the one thing I can say that I entered when I was being a guy like that, I got tired of waking up to a different face. Mm -hmm. Like, even though, like, the body change, I got tired of waking up to a different face. It just, and, and trying to remember their damn names in the morning. 
Like, especially you, when you, you I realize, something nice. You like, know what's crazy, though? Know, women are doing the same thing now, too, though. Women yeah. are fucking niggas that don't even know their name either. They can be like, oh, who the fuck with this nigga? You know, because just like men don't have to have, like women to have sex, I've, I've learned women don't even have to like the men to have sex. You know, they just needed somebody to fuck for that night. Okay, this, yo, the, the, I'm not belittling nobody that wants to do that. Please, if you need it, you need it. You got to do it. Everybody has different reasons. Either emotionally, sexually, or financially, there's a reason why somebody's fucking somebody. You know, there's, all, there's always reasons why. You know, and that's the, the issue because people are attracting other broken people, you know. And I noticed with women, a lot of y'all are also broken because y'all dealt with a toxic person and then you expect the next person to, to fix you. Right, and, and, all, and you, you're cutting every person that comes your way. Or they, yeah, oh, yeah, I was about to say, you're, you're expecting the other person to be toxic and you swing in, uh, and, you're, and you're missing the good guy. Right, you know, so you got to figure out what's going on out there, you know, because men don't know what women want. And women don't know what men want, apparently. You know, men are from Venus, women from Mars type bullshit, I guess. But at the end of the day, you know, in 2018, you know, it's one way or another. You know, you're either going to be up front or you're going to play the game, you know. And don't hate the player. Player life is not all that grand. It's not that what it cracked up to be. As someone who, who tried to play your life once, no, it doesn't I, 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 I don't like it. It's not for me. I didn't like having to call three women in a day and hear about all their all about their days, and and I got to remember like, all day like friends. A job oh, on his own, right? That's just too much work. I'd rather have one woman. I know about her friends, her life, and that's it. I don't need to know about any I, other. You're not confusing nobody, like. That's just too much fucking work. I got set dates for all three of them. You know, make sure that all these days don't cross. That's <laughs> another job in itself. You gotta start make, trying to maintain three. Right, women. like that, that's man. Like, yo, I, bro, I seen players maintain six. I would need an twenty. Women I would need life. an assistant. Wow. Just to, to <laughs> keep track of everything. An assistant. <laughs> Like, uh, who am I supposed to see today? Hey, those are pimps in training. <laughs> like, you should talk to me. I, I, the plays in training. I can't do that, man. I ain't got no time for that. I'm going to try and do plays in training. Like now, before we leave, I wanted to have this one last guy. We did, this episode is kind of a long one. But um, I had this conversation earlier at the Museum of Sex. And I was like, I have to bring this up during the podcast, especially since we're talking about KinkyCandyOnline.com. And I know that the King Candy Online sell a lot of these products, too. So at the Museum of Sex gift shop... As well as King Kenny online, I know there's a lot of these pocket pussies. You know, uh, they're all different lights. You know, the, the flesh lights. There's the, uh, um, I forgot whether it was a bathroom buddy or some shit like that. I, I can't remember all the names, but there was all these different products in there. And I was talking to a comedian, and he told me he's like, you know, if they gave these out like they give out condoms, they probably this would prevent rape, and there would be probably be no more rape in the world. And I'm like, really? Do you really think that? Because at first I was thinking. Me, personally, I wouldn't, if, you know, I don't think I could find myself using a pocket pussy, you know, I, but then again, just being a broke nigga, I'd just use my hand if I was going to masturbate, you know, but, you know, but if a nigga don't want to use his hand, he probably think, yeah, I'm going to use something, that, you know, I'm already pretending with my hand, I might as well pretend with something that actually feels, feels like an actual pussy, you know, but that's just not me, you know, but, you know, a lot of, you know, um, hanging at the Museum of Sex, I've seen a lot of guys, you know, pick it up and they'll play with it because you know, they have, like, these testers at the store that you can test it. And, you know, there's this one that apparently really feels like a girl, like, it gets wet and everything. And they're like, oh, my God, it's so real. It's lifelike. But I'm just like, it's, how is not the, it's not the same if a girl's not holding you, squeezing you, you know. Sometimes you, know, you just need that one part, not ear, the extra body. Like, you know, like, you know breathing oh, hot and heavy on you, you, you know, g- gasping your ear. Like, that's, that's what, you know. If, I, if it's not that, then what the fuck am I I'm going for, you know? And, and then I thought about it. Wait, and rape, that's not what a rapist is getting. You go, a rapist can't get that. She's too busy screaming or crying, you know? God forbid any of y'all ever experienced that. But did, y- y'all not sitting there enjoying the moment. That's not happening. You know, that's not going to happen. You know, so I'm thinking something like, do, would that be enough for a rapist? Because a rapist is just trying to get a nut, right? Apparently, because it's not about, you know, the love making. I don't think so. What is, like, I can't speak, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I I, I've watched a couple of, I know this sounds weird, but mm-hmm. I've watched a couple of episodes of, you know, SVU. Mm-hmm. And I think I think one of the, like uh, there was one episode that I remember hearing that they were like explaining like the mind of a rapist mm-hmm. and it's like you said as a rapist like he's not worried about you know is she wet he's more into the actual like how she's responding based on what he's doing right is that feeling of dominance right you can't get that from a po- from a pocket pussy right you know and in, in all honesty i feel like so maybe- the fear the break is doing it based off the fear 
it's just the fear, not the fear, it's, it's the feeling of being in control. Hmm. I'm trying to see if, there's, uh, if we could find a way to prevent rape, but... I don't like, think, and honestly, I think, I think the whole, like, rape cases would probably go down. Like, mm -hmm. the numbers of cases would go down. Like, can you put a pre-recorded scream in a pocket pussy, and a girl's like, oh, no, don't do it. He said maybe, your own well, that, movie, well, yeah, like, maybe that will stop the nigga. Like, if he had the audio in the back end of the girl crying then, and screaming no, and then... then you got to think, like, wouldn't it bring up, like, more chances of guys actually exposing themselves? I don't know. Because, I mean, now, I'm try, I'm now to it's find like, the right, right well, now. you know, I don't have to rape her, but, you know, I'm going to take this out and, you know, I, if I'm a, if I was going to rape her, I was going to whip it out anyways. I'm going to just, and guys are doing that on the train already. <laughs> <laughs> like, My answer to all this is play v, the Grand Theft Auto in VR and f find a prostitute, grab a pocket pussy. You go. <laughs> and have and, yourself a wonderful night. Right. Yeah, that's the closest experience. You better, I think, and actually, that's actually a really smart fucking thing. That's, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good thing. And your ass is so fucking, pussy right if now. you're so ready to go to jail or hurt and traumatize somebody else, before you do all that, go get yourself a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox or whatever. Play, get yourself uh, the, the Grand Theft Auto. Get yourself a VR headset. Well, actually, uh, do um, uh, Xbox got a VR thing? I think so, yeah. I think they so. Do. They do. I know PlayStation got a headset, with, so yeah. either or. Xbox do. Samsung has. Right? Either or. <laughs> grab, yourself, grab yourself a headset. Get grab the yourself, phone, right? the phone in the VR set alone right? and just... Right. Watch porn or something. Right? <laughs> Can't you pay for the virtual reality sets now? Like you could actually type it into your phone, slipe it on, and then just yeah, you can. Go yeah. to Pornhub, just t put the podcast. Yeah. So go ahead, yeah. Go on, uh, yeah. Go go on, on one of the Pornhub VR, one of these stuff, and put your hashtag on. Grab yourself a pocket pussy. Go to town on your ass. Go to kinkycandyonline.com. Right. Pick yeah. up that pocket pussy. You mm -hmm. pick up the lube, mm -hmm. and you pick up the condoms because yes, you need to use condoms. On that would make sense because yeah, you that probably be less stuff to clean up afterwards. That yeah, actually definitely. Makes a lot more, that makes a lot more sense, yeah. yeah. You because that's one of the reasons why I, I could have seen myself about one of these things. I'm like, clean up alone. Do just like, <laughs> speaking of condoms, do you want to hear something really interesting that I learned at training on Wednesday when I went to DOH? Mm. So, they because you know they had the female and they had the male condoms, right? right? So now they had they still have the male condoms, but they no longer call the female condoms the female condoms, they call it the FC2. Which is supposed to be female condom two, mm -hmm. but is basically now the the way they're putting it is it is officially safe to use the female condom or what was the female condom mm -hmm. as a female and male condom for vaginal and anal penetration. Wow! So you got two for the price of one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the new every day. Mm-hmm. Right. I was like, what? This is this is some what? Yeah, I was gentlemen. just I was I was wow. Developing in the sex community. This is this. It's good development. We need to make more. All right? More development. Well, this was definitely this episode of Birds and the Bees. <laughs> We hope you guys learned something as always, you know, this is the stuff that, you know, your school won't teach you, your parents won't teach you, you know. So, uh, you know, this this show is really made for explicit, you know, it's made for adults, but I'm not going to lie. If you're a teen and you heard this, you know, don't let your parents hear heard. You know, don't let your parents know you heard it from us. You know what I right? mean? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't put us on blast because your ass wanted to hear some explicit stuff. If you are a kid and you are not supposed to be listening to this, do not no, go to KinkyCandyOnline.com. Right? No, please, please, do not. Eighteen older. Eighteen, 18 and yes, older. Yes, please. This is not for children. But if you have learned anything about sex, and be responsible. Protect yourself. And please, life lesson learned. Yes, learn from our mistakes. You know, learn from other people's mistakes. You know, a lot of times on the show, I'm gonna try to teach you not from only our experience, but other people's experience. I just got this book about all, all like how a lot of people lost their virginity, and I, I want to bring some of these stories up because I'm like, these are people lost the the, the, the the amount of different ways people lost their virginity. If I could take back the way I lost my virginity, best believe I would. I filmed. And I mind. had I, I lost mine in, in a way where so many people are just like, I wish I had yours, <laughs> and I'm just like, no. I filmed mine, and mine was just awkward as hell. 
Mine was just like, yo, I was severe. Nah, I'm good. I'm not even gonna talk about. And she knows. She knows the video was there and everything. It wasn't like she didn't know. Like she helped. <laughs> she helped with the camera setup and everything. Oh, so. shit. <laughs> it was just like, you know, I just couldn't find it because it was in the dark. You know, we had we were doing the Paris Hilton thing. You know, so it was dark with the night cam on and shit. And I just couldn't find it for nothing. She was like, that's not it. Like, like it's it's, it's embarrassing. It's a very oh embarrassing God. video. Try to make a movie about that too. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fucking foursome. <laughs> Your first time with a foursome? Yes. <laughs> How the... <laughs> So, new development now that, that we sounds like That sounds like a party that just went somewhere completely elsewhere. <laughs> like, hey guys, you want to have a party? Yeah, let's drink. And what the fuck just happened? How did we all have sex in the same room just now? I'm a virgin. Yep. That's basically right, the story, right? That's basically it, right? No. no. It was my current boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, and my best friend at the time. Babe. Nate. Babe. Ex babe. <laughs> so that's funny as hell. Mm-hmm. Damn. Wow. Look, I wish you could have seen Carl's face. <laughs> Carl's face, like, <laughs> like he still has the same face. <laughs> <laughs> like what? This some Zane shit right here. Like, whoa! How the fuck this happen? Yeah, that was my first, my first time. No, I had mercy. Yes. And I thought my shit was crazy because I had it on camera. Nope. Did you beat my story? <laughs> I thought my shit was kinky. Huh, keep yep. it kinky, people. Keep it kinky. I was raped. She was older. I loved it. I still called it. I said no. I don't. They, oh, they were all definitely older too. Yeah. I know. How old were you? I was 15. Oh, yeah, he was younger than I was. I was, I was 15. My boyfriend at the time was 20. My ex-boyfriend at the time was 18. And my best friend was 16. Shit. Wow. Well, I, wow. At least, at, least, yeah. at least I was 15 and she was, like, 17. And she gave it to me. I was out. I was somewhere down south. You know, experience. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? I'm over here just rubbing this in. I was in, ja- <laughs> I was in Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> Damn. I was hitting the hood. My first kiss wasn't even in America. I was overseas for my first kiss. That's my what... first kiss was with a girl. Mm. Well, mine was too. Uh, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I have never kissed a man, and uh, you know, I, I, I really don't plan on it. You know, like, <laughs> I, it's not in my to-do list, in my bucket <laughs> list, none of those lists. You know. <laughs> oh, Oh my God. But um, oh. what do I call it? Oh, first time I even touched a bare boob was overseas. Yeah. Like I, it was overseas that preparing me to come back up here. Like oh, I know what to do now. Can we do I was it? fresh Can when I got oh, back no, from America. Overseas, oh, they are just horny. horny. Very horny. <laughs> what? So horny. So you it's, jump and it's off even, the plane, oh boat, wherever you go. Be, who are you? Come fuck up. I don't know why they call it the Virgin Islands. There ain't no right? virgin over there. There's not a there's single virgin, virgin over there. <laughs> And West Indies, like, as soon as you turn 16, not even 14, and you know, everybody as soon just as started. Stick it hard. They right? <laughs> in what it. I do with this? Right? Stick it. Got it. In it. They just be like, oh, this got hard. What does yours do? <laughs> Back to life, dude. No, no, that's literally it. it. That's literally it. <laughs> you got in a room just checking each other out. Like, yo, how did this work? Like, yeah. oh. This like, yo, this is, what the hell is What that? happens when I put my hand oh, here? Oh, I oh, like man. that. Oh, <laughs> next thing you know, well, what if I put this here? Oh. You know, I always wonder. You next thing you know, you're 13-year-old yeah. pregnant. Like, I always wonder that how Adam and Eve figured out sex. Like, because, you know, they didn't know nothing. They're like, hey. You know, it's, especially after they ate the apple, so it's like, holy smokes, you got a body part. Oh, you, what, whoa, that's what happened when I touch it? Yeah. Oh, what happened if I stick it here? Oh, oh, oh. Right. this is nice. Cream, oh, oh, there's more, more, more. And that's why, that's why they were running from God when God was looking at them. They got caught, they got caught. Like, oh, no, no, let see it. You ever they're got like, caught by your parent? <laughs> that's what, that's what Have happened. You, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> that is exactly what it was. That snake? Yeah, yeah, that's that, that, yeah. When I read that story, yeah. I always imagine Snake is a man and not a snake, and he does Snake and Snake. And he's like, hey girl, what's up? You know, just chilling by the tree. Like, you ain't, you ain't fucking with the tree? Right. Where you been at? Girl, right. you missing out? Right. You didn't get the tree? And now she want to bring it back to her man. It's like, yo, you know, what's at this tree? Or where, how'd you find about that tree? I thought God said we should have fucked with it. Nah, I, 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 somebody told me it was cool, people. Who told you it was that? Nobody, you know, this is what I met. You know, they're cool, they're cool people. No, then he knows this bitch was eating apples with this nigga all night mm-hmm. and shit. Talking about, yo, man, so much shit you don't know about. You know, the pot head at me sometimes. I was like, yo, what if it's not the apple? What if they were smoking? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Snake introduced her, introduced her to weed and just opened up her mind to I new mean, shit. She was, she was by trees. Right? It was a tree. It was, it was a, a tree. tree. It, it was a plant. Talking about plants. Right, you open up her eyes and new shit. Like, girl. That was a good plant. Right? <laughs> and God was like, no, I told you don't smoke that shit. Mm-hmm. That tree, you can't smoke from the tree of life. 
Like, nah, man, you know, like, you know nah, y'all got, y'all got to leave this, y'all got to leave this shit. And, and they were supposed to be in this beautiful ass garden. So then they start seeing real shit. Like, Word. you know, I'm starting noticing things, God, and, uh, yeah. Why is this like this? You're like, damn it, you see? This is why I tell you not to smoke I told that shit. you not to smoke from the tree. Y'all gotta leave. Y'all gotta leave go. Leave the tree alone. Y'all already fucking up. Y'all gotta go. Y'all go, gotta go. go. I gotta start over. I gotta figure this shit <laughs> out now. I gotta start over. I gotta figure this and shit out. And Adam and Eve, they started having sex. Right. It was like, oh shit. But here's the question I always try to figure out. Where did everybody else come from? Adam and Eve. So Adam and Eve, so generally everybody... We are, all, we are all related some way, somehow. Like, as descendants, we're all related some way, somehow. That's crazy. All, like, whether it's like... 16th cousin fucking removed type shit. Like, we are all related some way, somehow. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do a podcast about spirituality. Or, we gotta break this stuff down and figure this out. Because this is definitely leaving the sex and you know, that way you just get into a whole oh, dog. Yeah, we went to a whole different topic. Right? Well, right, you know. Can we talk about the Bible and sex? We're gonna have to talk about the Bible and sex somewhere, somewhere, in here, somehow. Well, technically, yeah, we'll get, we, we'll, we'll do religion a has already been introduced oh, yeah. into the podcast because, you know, we, it's been brought up. Right. You know, in the, we spoke earlier about the Bible mm-hmm. and, you know, having sex before a marriage, so I don't see why not. Right. But and some cultures, it, sex is very religious, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some, some cultures don't even believe in protection. Yeah. They have sex formally, specifically to reproduce and have more children. Right. Yeah. Sexual act is a spiritual act. You know, the only our culture that's like, nah, we're just fucking to be fucking. <laughs> I just want a nut. <laughs> I need. We're like, uh, arrange what? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna fuck that one right there. I'm gonna see how that goes. Yeah, we can go for that. This is the way we live in it. We're just trying to help you guys understand it. And that's why this is called the birds and the bees. Because we're, we're giving you guys the talk that your parents may not give you. And, you know, it's long overdue. Oh, my parents definitely did not have this conversation with me. You know what my mom's birds and the bees conversation was? I told my mom, I'll never forget it, because I didn't tell my mom that I was going to puberty until I told somebody else I was going to puberty. You know, and some of them didn't, I'll never forget it. She, um, she was my tutor, but I called her my aunt because she was so close to me, Aunt Deborah, Deborah Bridges. I'll never forget her. So she was, you know, I, you know, we was talking about puberty, and I was like, yo, I'm going through those things. She's like, yo, you need to go tell your mom. You're, you're literally becoming a man. You need to go tell your mom this stuff. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I go to my mom. I tell her. My mom gets really excited. Oh, snap. Give me a hug. Then she pulls me away, and you go, if you ever get a girl pregnant, I'm cutting your dick off. I'm beating you, the girl, and the kid. Oh, and God. I was like, and that was the talk. That was but the talk. You know, not for nothing, that is the typical response that you would get from, like, <laughs> Caribbean, mom. especially a Caribbean mm-hmm. mom, though. Because mm-hmm. my mother... No, my mom, nah. My mom didn't have that talk with me. My mom, like, just naturally came out of nowhere and accused me. He was like, you were having sex. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> like, until one day I couldn't take it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I had sex. How <laughs> good. <laughs> Fuck! You know what's crazy? You lied to me! You were holding back! <laughs> what the fuck was that? You know what's crazy though? Growing up, and me and my mom never had a conversation of what is sex. I remember one time I asked my mom, you know, Mom, where do babies come from? And she goes, boy, stop stop asking me stupid questions. You know, you watch TV, you, watch, you got cable, you know what it is. Stop acting like you don't know. And I, and I couldn't argue with her. I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've yeah. seen it. You know, <laughs> you know when it's late at night, your mom's sleeping. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you sneak over to the other room, right. go to the cable box, press that magic button right. in the box. <laughs> press <laughs> mute on that shit. Press the mute button. <laughs> <laughs> and pray to God you keep... You, yo, remember when the channels used to... The, the box used to remember the channels? Yeah. Oh, I hated it. You press last, I, used to, boom. I used to have to go to like the, the, the channels multiple ch- times right. just for the box to remember it. Random fucking channels. Right, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> like, my father one time came to me, what was you watching? <laughs> I know damn well you was not watching PBS. <laughs> what were you watching? <laughs> Yo, my shit was literally always 6, 7, 8, 9. Because it was Nickelodeon, Channel 7, TVS, UPN. Every, that was my always go-to. It was like, up they press last, you got to go through a couple <laughs> channels first. But like, no, no, you not know what I was watching Spice just a second ago. Right? You not know I was watching Spice. Shout out to Spice Channel. Yeah. Introduced us to a lot of stuff yeah, as a, a kid. Lot, a lot. But you know what's crazy? Even the stuff that we saw back then, they prepared for the stuff we'll see later on the internet. You know what I mean? But a lot of the stuff on there, like the first time I saw a cup shot, I was I lost my mind. I did not I was not prepared for that at all. <laughs> I was like, wait, there's more? Oh, what the hell? What just happened? What just first, happened? The first time I realized that there was a thing as bestiality. Oh, yeah. People having sex with animals. Mm, yeah. And the worst part about it, I didn't see that online. 
I saw this face to face. Oh, no. the donkey show? No. Oh, God. I God. saw a woman have sex with a horse. Wow. In person? In face to face. And the worst thing about it is that I just walked out of my high school. What, what? What? It was across the street of my high school at the pond. I walked out the building and she is there with the whole crew and everything. Wait, wait, you went to um, Jamaica. And I, I know there's a lot of horses there because of the cops, but yeah. a woman was fucking one of the horse cops? Yeah, no, I don't know if it was a horse cop. It was a random fucking horse and the bitch was <laughs> sucking the dick. Like, so, like. Wait. Yes. Yes, she bent over this way and the horse got ready to mount and I just I, no, I turned no. around and walked the other way. Wow. Right. I've seen a lot of shit, man. Wow. <laughs> I've seen, a I lot seen that on the internet. I've never no. seen that in person. I can I've never see that in person. person and be like, yo, that animal looks so fuck yo, it looks sad. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I, I, that, the, it, it did not look sad. I don't know what to say. It did not look sad. Well, that he... nigga was ready. <laughs> <laughs> he was ready. I don't know how she was. I don't even know how she was. Have you ever seen a horse's dick? My dude, I, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, how was she? I don't know. First of all, forming head she, on this thing. No, how the heck did, would you even uh, take that motherfucker? Uh, <laughs> Negro. Hey, I'm trying to. Uh, Negro. I can't even see it. Look, 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 look. My imagination is abort, His face, his face is like, <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm just not ready. Like, my mind is having a hard time. <laughs> I can't even process that image right now. Like, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, some but, you know, a lot of people are attracted to weird things, you know? Some people are, you know, into leather. You know, they, they turn them by leather. Some people are turned down by sound, you know? I, mean, I had a friend of mine that, that told me um, that a guy would buy him sneakers, and he wouldn't want him to do anything with the sneakers. He just wanted him to put it on and just, like, step on him. And he got off on that. Oh, God. That's wow. Good. Brand new sneakers. Step on my f and then uh, he'll let him keep, like, after he's done and everything, he would let him keep the sneakers. That's the easiest job in the world to get new sneakers. Yeah, but <laughs> wouldn't it feel weird that you're pleasuring another man, though? By standing on him. I, I, just, I don't even care how. Just the idea of me pleasuring another man. How did that start? <laughs> like, did like, you lose a fight? And it was like, oh, yeah. Uh, then he stepped on his shoe. He's like, oh, I need to do that again. <laughs> like, you stepped on me. I like how you stepped on me. I just, there's, 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 there's. Oh. There's, there's certain fetishes right out there. There's, there's people that have well, sex in, in, uh, in, in yeah. There's foot fetishes. There's people who have sex in full like animal costumes. Oh, oh, uh, uh, fur, uh, fur, uh, furries. 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 Yeah. There's people who sniff underwear. Uh, what do you get? Hot, wait, what do you get? Hot fucking in an animal costume though? Yeah. I yeah. sweat. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 bro, they serious. They be burning calories doing them shit. Like yo, they be like yo. I, I'm like, Who's, but I, a rabbit last night. I, like, like I, I like this. I like to look at the female body. So the fact that you covered it up with this fucking squirrel is it, like I, I don't think I'll be able to keep my yeah, heart on. Uh, the, that kind of fuck it up for me. I'm sorry. Like I want to be able to see you. You know, that's the, that that's the turn on for me. Like hey, hey. maybe no, nah, maybe somebody just wanted to fuck a bunny for that day. <laughs> But what, I mean, <laughs> you know, listen, I had to catch myself because at, 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 as like what I do, I realize like when I do testing, like I have to ask like questions like this. Mm -hmm. It's there's so many times that I like and it's, it's just it's not even me like trying to figure out information about you. Like I mm -hmm. legit just, I have a form that I have to fill out that I have to ask these questions. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's frustrating because like you have to ask so many personal questions. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like sometimes it's like, OK, well. Why did you do this to our third? And right. it's just like, I don't want to know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. But it's, I don't know, man. People, people do weird shit. People, people do weird shit. People like to keep it, keep it kinky. That's all. That's what I noticed. Well, I'm, like I'm telling you, I've watched everybody at the museum sex gift shop. Diff yo, even the ones who can't even speak English, they do they, just their body language is the exact same thing. Uh, you know, like you, they have this this area right where it's, there's a whole. It's basically the Fifty Shades of Grey wall. It's not the Fifty Shades of Grey wall, but it's basically the Fifty Shades of Grey wall. They got the bondage ties, the ball gag, mm -hmm. the whips, the pads, and all that. And I've watched S -S 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 -S. every age group, every race, mm -hmm. every you know mm -hmm. the foreigners, Americans. They all come over there and they all pick up that paddle and they look for their part of the slap real quick. Like, yeah. where you at? Come over here. Let me see something real quick. Mm -hmm. Then they can't wait to do it. Yep. I've seen it yep. over and over, over and over and over again. Yep. You know, people like to keep it kinky. You know, this is the world we live Just in. Keep it kinky, people. Yes, we're going to keep it kinky. But this was this episode of The Birds and the Bees. You know, there's so much stuff to this time. Man, sex is in relationships and all this. This is never ended conversation. There's so much more to say, but there's so, so little time. We're already going on by an hour about this part. What? 
I said that's why we're gonna have multiple episodes. Yes, we're definitely gonna have multiple episodes. We're definitely gonna start the video version of this show soon. But until then, much love, God bless, two pieces of chicken grease. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Later. Good night.